New evidence released on a Utah County woman's disappearance. The Facebook page Finding Jerrica shows pictures of Jerrica Banks. Her family says they were captured on a Utah Department of Natural Resources camera. The images. Hi, and welcome. My name is Mike O, and in this video, let's take a look at the strange disappearance of Jerrica Banks, who disappeared while running on the 18th of February 2018. 24-year-old Jerrica was last seen at a residential treatment center located in the Utah County area of American Fork at approximately 9 a.m. Jerrica told roommates that she was going running and never returned. Jerrica was staying at a residential drug treatment center. She had had drug charges in the past, most recent being in 2017. She had struggled with drug addiction in the past, but her family says she was clean and committed to rebuilding her life. She had just started a new job at a construction company, and she had a day-long trip booked later in February to go to a spiritual sweat lodge. The night before her disappearance, she went bowling with her roommates and called her mom to check in when she got home. Jerrica had previously taken self-defense classes, but was not known to have or be carrying any kind of weapon on her run. On February 18th, 2018, she told her roommate at about 9am she was planning to go for a run in the Timpanogos Cave National Monument. She had actually been planning to go for a run that day with her roommate, but as it was a Sunday, her roommate decided to go to church instead. She was a keen long-distance runner, she often visited the park to go running there. Leaving her wallet and ID at home, she grabbed her phone, water bottle and earbuds. The only thing missing from her jewellery box was a green stone band that she'd bought. Jerrica didn't use a tracker for running. She didn't have a fitness app to track where she was and calories and kilometers and miles, all that stuff. She reached the entrance to the Highland Trail at 9.55 a.m. This route would wind her through scenic parts of the canyon in the National Park. And there is no evidence to suggest she ever made it out of the Highland Trail area. When she didn't return to the treatment center that evening, an employee called Jerrica's mom, who lived nearby, to let her know. A search of her daughter's room turned up all of her belongings, including two uncashed checks on her desk, along with her wallet and ID. Calls to her phone, they immediately went to voicemail. Jerrica's mother, Suzanne, she reported her missing that day. But that evening, snow began to fall, over a foot of it. Car accidents tied up all the emergency responders in the area. Conditions in the canyon, they were slippery, making the search for Jessica impossible. Also, the missing persons report, it had been filed in the wrong district due to police error. So when search crews finally set out to search for Jerrica in the Highlands Trail area, eight days had passed. Eight days before they finally started searching for her which is a hell of a long time. When they finally did get around to the search, they immediately began with the canyon. Interestingly, a photographer who was hiking in the canyon with her boyfriend and dogs the very same day Jerrica went missing, reported to police that that day, she heard gunshots. It wasn't hunting season and it sounded more like a handgun than a rifle, she reported. The noise freaked out her dogs, and she had already been feeling jittery after passing a camp that looked like someone had done some sort of ritual there. She'd seen sticks sharpened into spears placed into symbols along the ground. However, this tip, it didn't lead to any concrete results. The search proved fruitless. They found no clues as to what happened to Jerrica. 
The family offered a $5,000 reward for any information about Jerrica's disappearance. released on a Utah County woman's disappearance. Over a month later, wildlife camera footage retrieved by park staff in the canyon showed a woman running down the Timpanogos Cave Trail at 1.30 p.m. in an area of the park that was closed for the winter. Jerrica would have been outside for four hours by that point, which was not unusual for her. She was heading towards the road, the canyon's exit. Police combed that area thoroughly. We searched that trail three or four times for days with search and rescue, planes, helicopters, and drones, detectives said. Even, even with this footage and clues as to where she had gone in the park, where she may have emerged, the search found squat. Theories began to emerge. Was she attacked by an animal, a mountain lion or something? Mountain lions had been spotted in the park, but it seemed unlikely. Did she fall off a dangerous trail? The footage of her that was recovered indicates she was well past any areas with uh, tricky trails or cliffs or anything like that. Did she run away? She left all her money behind if she did. A year later, there has been no activity on her bank account and her wallet was left at home. Most likely, someone attacked her while she ran. In January 2019, police received a tip. A tip gives family, uh, a family hope. They'll find their missing daughter, Jerrica Binks, disappeared nearly a year ago. After a confidential informant claimed foul play was involved in the disappearance of Jerrica Binks. A search warrant was released publicly. In the search warrant, Police stated that a confidential informant claimed an acquaintance told him, what do you do when your friend asks you to help hide a body? The confidential informant said the acquaintance did not say it was Binks's body, but the informant knew from talking to the acquaintance that he was referring to Binks. A spokesman for the Utah County Sheriff's Office said they're not downplaying this latest tip, but there are some problems with it. So, as it seems, we may be closer to finding out what happened to Jerrica that day. It's not a confirmed thing, and her disappearance still remains unsolved and quite mysterious. She was last seen nearing the exit of the park, and then just vanished. Her phone was never discovered and it was off, but the area of the park she was in was known to have no cell phone service. Most likely she was attacked while she was out running, but, well. Who knows what happened, and hopefully we'll find out something soon, and this tip could pay off to give some closure to Jerrica Banks' family. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Mike out.